rhetoric focuses on our infrastructure, most oftentimes it doesn't get beyond roads and bridges. And while that's critical to our infrastructure, we cannot ignore the elephant in the room, our electric grid. Some think it's an issue too big to tackle. The Powering America team of NECA and the IBEW think it's too big to ignore. It's a cold, drizzly day in upstate New York, and the crews on the Auburn Transmission Project are beginning their day. The daily safety briefing and series of stretches mentally and physically prepares each crew member for another day of hard work. Rigging and lifting, what do we got to make sure we can do with all of our rigging? Inspect the prior use, right? And if it's red, it's dead, right? Covering less than 15 miles, on paper this project may not seem that daunting, but servicing multiple utilities combined with the demanding schedule, trying terrain, and meticulous environmental regulations all combine to make this job uniquely challenging. So we're building a uh, 115 kV tie between the Elbridge substation and State Street substation. Um, mixture of triple circuit and double circuit uh, transmission in new right of way and existing right of way. Runs about 14 and a half miles total length because National Grid owns the existing right of way for a large portion of the project. Um, NYSEG only owns the uh, right of way on the north south axis of the project. So it's a little bit of a joint uh, effort between the two biggest utilities in New York. In addition to meeting the needs of these two huge utilities, O'Connell Electric also needed to meet the ecological demands of the state of New York. So this project's uh, Article 7 regulated by uh, New York State uh, Department of Public Service and the DEC. They uh, have a very strict set of guidelines. Uh, everything's been carefully designed and um, we have to um, build the project and uh, even walk around on the project within this very specific set of guidelines to minimize the environmental impact. Uh, under the terms of Article 7, the uh, uh, northern long-eared bat is a regulated in, uh, endangered species federally. We have other regulated species here, uh, like the bald eagle, ospreys, uh, bog turtle, make sure that we're not uh, disturbing their habitat. We worked with O'Connell Electric in designing the actual plan and approach to it, and then worked with the matting on that. We went through a uh, swamp and then uh, just wetlands and then different types of matting and systems that you put in place for that. Uh, we also have two 40-foot stream crossings, which is unusual for a typical project. So the terrain was pretty tough. Um, it was real thick overbrush. We had to clear that out, uh, dig out. Uh, the earth and then put fabric down in stone and we built this highway to get up to uh, the concrete trucks up to the structures. All of this planning and work needed to be done before a single lineman could step foot on the project. Uh, at the moment we have uh, 57 um, local 1249 linemen. Uh, I'd say the maximum number of, uh, of uh, union employees that we've had out here is about 110, um, which is Pretty good size for just a little 14 and a half mile project. But when they were called upon, the skilled craftsmen of IBEW Local 1249 were ready, no matter how long the hours or how challenging the job. We've been pulling wire most recently, and I've been working with the uh, scoping crew sagging the wire, trying to make sure all the tensions are good and that the wire looks good from the ground as well as the air. We're pulling the lead lines in to pull the wire right now. Um, we brought all the steel out, the guys set all the steel. Well, I brought all the parts and pieces out so they can put it all together. The partnership between NECA and IBEW, um, the contractors know who they're getting and what they're getting as far as quality of the personnel. Um, they, they supply the proper equipment to get the job done. And the, and the men on, in the field, they know what they need to get the job done and they relay that to the, to the contractor and the contractor he wants to get his job done on time, under budget, of course. There's a lot of risk, in, inherent risk, in construction. Um, and the name of the game is to eliminate risk or reduce it to the smallest manageable um, quantity. And 
The, the biggest tool in my eyes is to get a project team together that works safely, um, can build a plan and work to the plan and deliver a quality project with pride. That's, that's to me, that's the NECA and IBW difference. The Auburn Transmission Project is now back online, supplying power to the region. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for behind the scenes extras and industry information. For Electric TV from upstate New York, I'm Dom Geritano.